I have quite the collection of marionettes. Fender Japan approached me a few years after that. My mother fell in love with a sword swallower and took off in the circus. Hey everyone, I'm Katie Darrell and he is Richie Kotzen from Winery Dogs. Uh, listen, we are gonna play rock and tell, which is just like show and tell, but a whole lot cooler because it's rock and roll junk. How's it going, Richie? Good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, I mean, first off, I love the backdrop. I feel like we could just spend hours looking at your shelves, but what three items oh. did you pull off today? Well, um, I have quite the collection of marionettes. And th this is Mary. Um, she's Mary the marionette. She's been named. And uh, she used to live in my bedroom in my old house that I lived for 20 years. And then I, I moved uh, about seven years ago. And now she lives uh, in my office. How did this marionette obsession collection begin? Uh, you know, uh, when I was very young, my mother fell in love with a sword swallower and took off in the circus for a few years. So I grew up around oddities. No, I'm lying. That's not. <laughs> true. Um, so that would be very interesting. Um, no, you know, um, I, I don't know where it came from. Possibly, you know, my father collected a lot of very bizarre antiques. That's that is true. Um, and we lived in a very old home uh, outside of uh, Philadelphia. Um, and uh, and um, you know he just kind of had a lot of strange things and he had puppets and, and clowns and you know uh, antique rifle collection like a lot of just you know oddities I guess you'd say yeah. and so somewhere along the line uh, I got a couple marionettes and then people found out that I like these old vintage marionettes and they start giving them to me and now we've probably I don't know how many we've got but 50 60 they're all over the house and um to me I, I don't even see them but when people come over they're like hey what's what's with all the puppets you know but um <laughs> i think this they're, they're they're here so I, I, I would say. have to assume that marionettes are not easy to dust i mean a lot of like yarn hair and stuff right yeah they're they're a bit dusty they are yeah if you're a, a neat freak uh, they would probably drive you to madness the marionette life would not be for you. All um, right, Richie, uh, what else do you have um, that isn't a puppet? Okay, this is not a puppet, and I was using it just before we got started. This is my uh, signature model Fender Stratocaster, and most people are familiar with my signature model Telecaster, which is my main guitar, but since 1996, uh, I've also had a signature model Stratocaster available in white and in red. This is the red one. And uh, it's a lovely guitar. And um, what can I say about it? It's not commercially sold everywhere in the world. Um, the Telecaster is available everywhere and has been for many years. This is a specialty item uh, that you would order from Fender Japan. Maybe someday they'll, they'll, they'll bring it here and make it uh, available here. But I've been using it a lot. I used it a lot on the new winery dog record and i've been doing some recording uh, and i'm using it on the on the new recordings as well how did you narrow it down to white and red i mean red is so rock and roll but then all of a sudden you're like oh but black it, that's so dark and mysterious sure well i'll tell you how it happened um when i uh when i joined the band poison back in 19 it was either 90 or 91 and i was in the studio I had all my guitars and Ibanez was making me Telecasters back then. And they were really nice guitars, uh, but one of the Fender reps showed up because the bass player was with Fender and they saw these guitars and they gave me two Fenders and they were master built custom shop guitars. One was a Tobacco Sunburst Telecaster and one was a Red Strat. And so they became my main guitars. And I was probably 20 or 21 at the time. I was very young. And I just took a liking to this guitar. So Fender uh, approached me, Fender Japan approached me a few years after that, said, hey, we want to do a signature model with you, but we want to do two. And so I took the tobacco Telecaster and I tweaked it. I changed a few things with the body, I added these comfort cuts and and um, whatever I changed on the guitar. And that became my, my main guitar, the signature model. And then with the Strat, uh, I had done a music video where I had the red Strat, so they wanted to do a red one. And then I also had 
been playing a white one at the time, so we did red and white. Are you? Do you name your guitars? Are no, you one of those guys? I don't name the guitar. I name the puppets. Only the marionettes <laughs> get names. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are playing rock and tell. Uh, what else you got? And then another thing I've got is a book that I've had since I was uh, in my very early 20s, and it's called The Most Brilliant Thoughts of All Time. And I and I, I put markings on here when I was when I first got it for little thick quotes that I like. And I guess what do you call these kinds of quotes? Are they epigrams? Is that the word? But if you open it, um, let me find one. Uh, some people are so fond of ill luck that they run halfway to meet it. So there, there are little expressions yeah. uh, that can spark inspiration. Uh, the friendship that can cease has never been real. I mean, and these are all things in here. We will either find a way or make one. Um, you know, this is tons of them. I'm not going to sit here and read all of them, but uh, he who makes no friend who never made a foe. So, you know, it's just little things here that may spark, uh, you know, change your mood if you're not feeling quite right. It may sure. inspire you to write a song, you know, or you know, a lyric or something like that. So that's that's the other thing that I have here. Sounds like a positive way to start and end the day. I like it. I dig it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you for playing Rock and Tell with us. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is, or who your favorite bands are, and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.